You've heard of getting catfished, but online daters have something new to watch out for when they're swiping. Dog fishing. That's when someone on a dating app uses pictures of themselves with a friend's dog, but makes it seem like the dog is theirs. Shame on them. Shame on them. And what's going on? People on Reddit and Twitter are reporting cases of this dog fishing. One person writes, my friend swiped right on a guy because he had a Pomeranian, but she found out it wasn't his. Another person tweeted, all I had to do was post a picture of me holding a dog that wasn't even mine, and I got hundreds of matches. And research backs it up. <laughs> I mean, we, studies show men who own dogs come off as more capable of caring for others. And every man knows that the best place to meet someone is the dog park. It's probably true. If you tr good. Yeah, because it's, you're, you're hanging out with your, your best friend, your, your dog. This takes it to a next level, because if you're a dude who wants to pose with a dog but doesn't actually want to have a dog, then it's like you're attracting the opposite person than you should. It's false you're attracting the wrong person. Well, that's kind the whole thing. Person. Being dog-fished, it's false advertising, right? But I think a lot of women, there are studies on this. They, they did a, a survey of 1,200 subscribers to one dating app, and they said, are you more likely to be attracted to someone who owns a pet? A third of them said, I would be much more attracted to someone who had a pet, and a half of them wouldn't even consider dating someone who didn't like pets. Oh, oh now we're going to so see it. So that's part of Every our... dating app is going to have a guy holding his dog. You know? <laughs> Seriously. But I'll so I'll be the first to admit it. I actually, when we were newlyweds, my husband and I got married almost 16 years ago, part of the reason we adopted a puppy is I was testing him. I wanted to see, like, how do you do with the pup? Because then he won't kill the kids, you know? Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a real thing. <laughs> Always, you're always conducting a scientific I always, I'm always doing trial my own or two. Well, you conducted trial. your experiment and you found your lifelong wingman. The doctors. 12 years Whoa. in. The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. Whoa. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.